in the previous video we have discussed the medial surface and uh, now we are going to look at the lateral uh, surface of the brain. So this hole is the lateral surface of the brain you can view and uh, the features uh, that we are going to see in the lateral surface. Uh, these will be the gyri and sulci and the blood vessels uh, that are running in these uh, sulci. So first of all look at the uh, sulci and gyri. First of, uh, of all you can notice that this is the central prominent sulcus. This is known as the central sulcus on which you, you see that uh, number 2 is written. So this is the central sulcus. In front of the central sulcus this gyrus is known as precentral gyrus and behind this is the post central gyrus. Now this is the temporal lobe. In the temporal lobe you can notice that there are two sulci. This is the superior temporal sulcus and this is the inferior temporal sulcus. In some books it is also written that the, uh, it is uh, represented as the median uh, middle cerebral uh, temporal uh, sulcus. So, uh, you can, uh, but according to uh, the Gray's Anatomy and uh, according to the Natter Atlas, it is the inferior uh, temporal sulcus. So you can also call it middle, but uh, we cannot appreciate the inferior here. So in this case, in this model, it will be the inferior uh, cere uh, cerebral, uh, sorry, the temporal sulcus. Now. Uh, above this temporal lobe you can notice that there is a sulcus which is separating this temporal lobe from the frontal lobe and the parietal lobe posteriorly. This is known as the lateral sulcus in which the, this blood vessel is running. This is known as the middle cerebral artery. It is a branch of internal carotid artery that we will look in the uh, inferior view also. So this is known as the uh, lateral sulcus. This is the superior temporal gyrus, this is the middle temporal gyrus and this is the inferior temporal gyrus. So now we will see the now we are going to look at the inferior view of the brain uh, in the inferior view we know uh, that th this is the uh, orbital surface of the frontal lobe this is the inferior surface of the temporal lobe and uh, this is the frontal view of uh, pons and medulla and this is the uh, inferior surface of the cerebellum. So these can be no, uh, uh, noticed in the inferior view. Now the gyri and sulci and what features we can see here. First of all you can notice that this is the olfactory bulb and this olfactory bulb is continuing as the olfactory tract and uh, it uh, when it reaches the anterior perforated substance it is dividing into two stria the lateral olfactory stria and the medial olfactory stria this one. This is the lateral and this is the medial olfactory stria. So this olfactory uh, uh, tract is running in this sulcus, this is known as the olfactory sulcus. Medial to the olfactory sulcus, this gyrus which is uh, very straight, this is known as the gyrus rectus and lateral to this olfactory uh, sulcus, this hole is the orbital gyrus present on the orbital surface of the frontal lobe. So the, uh, in the frontal lobe, in the inferior view, we can notice these structures are present. Now uh, if we move posteriorly in the region of uh, diencephalon, in the floor of the diencephalon, what structures we can see? First of all, you can see that this X which has been dissected uh, into two parts, uh, this X is representing the optic chiasma and this is continuing posteriorly as the optic tract optic chiasma and optic tract and uh, this part here this one this is representing the mammillary body this is the mammillary body and uh, this part uh, this dilated part here this is the tuber cinereum this part this is the tuber cinereum so these are structures are forming the floor of the diencephalon and uh, now uh, it is uh, all about the inferior surface. In that session we are going to discuss the uh, circle of Willis and uh, the pons and medulla.